Minecraft clocks are utterly useless. I mean, let's be realistic here. The hands are so big that you can hardly tell what's going on, and they have no real numbers, just a blob of black and blue. I've made digital clocks before. In fact, I'm kind of planning to do one for a tutorial this Friday, because, you know, publicity. But today, I want to step it up a bit, with a massive and hopefully super accurate analog clock. Well, here is the majestic tower that will host our magnificent clock. I feel like it came out better than um, some of my builds. It's not perfect. I think I should have added some like supports here, and then up at the very top, I kind of got lazy. Anyway, that's not the point. I'm not, I'm not a building channel. I think we need to sort of just build the clock itself first, and then we can make it actually spin later on. So you know when you're planning to make something, and the whole thing sort of relies on one small, simple thing, and you assume that that thing is possible, but then it's not? Yeah, that's what's going on with me. I, um, I had planned to make the minecart invisible here, and then we could just have sort of a ring of minecarts. Unfortunately, um, for some reason, even though I have invisible here, that's, I think, an armor stand only thing, now that I'm thinking about it more. So, um, yeah, we cannot have the minecarts be invisible. Wow. Well, um, more bad news for our here clock. I had planned to just ignore the problem in the middle. I figured they'd all be in the center. It would just look like, you know, sort of something screwing the clock to the wall or whatever. Who cares? Um, the point is, I, I can't actually set their rotation. Like, if we go up here, I do that, right? So you can see I was teleporting them so that their Y rotation should be negative 180, uh, so they'd be a little bit angled. But if we just get the data of a random one, you can see that Y value there, that Y rotation is set to zero. So um, I guess that is strike two for my clock. However, there is still hope. I hadn't wanted to do it like this, but you can actually summon an armor stand, which is wearing something on its head. And you can also tilt the armor stand's head. And so if we make the armor stand invisible like we have over here, we can get angled blocks. I gotta be honest with you, that sounds like a pain in the butt to do for the entire sphere. So, what I'm going to do instead of that is I'm just going to use falling blocks. Um, so I'll just sort of teleport a bunch of falling blocks in like a circle here, and those will not be rotated, so it will not be a perfect sphere. However, we can sort of have them in positions in between blocks, so, you know, it won't be a curve, but it also won't just be, you know, a staircase. It'll actually have some curvature to it. Alright, here we go. We have a little um, circle set up here. So, you see what I mean? Like, it's still jagged. It's not perfectly smooth. But, I really think it's close enough to being smooth that we can just say, hey, good enough. Alright, so the next step is going to be uh, just setting up the watch sort of dials. Alright, um, I think that's a uh, reasonable length for the hour hand. Great. Uh, now we have the minute hand as well. And so if we were to rotate, say, one of the hands a little bit, it would do that. Obviously the blocks are not yet rotating. That can be done momentarily. Alright, let's hope that this is working. It is. How absolutely wonderful. That, I gotta tell you, is quite a relief. Oh, it stopped doing it up there. Oh boy, I love it when that happens, when it just straight up does not work. Wait, oh, I think I may know the problem, actually. Okay, let's see. Um, is it working now? It is working. It can go all the way around, I believe. I'm a little bit... Oh, actually, once we get up to here, uh, it's going to have to do funky things there anyway to go all the way around. But that's fine because it is, in fact, rotating. To be clear, what was going on there, for some reason, when the value of something is zero for some things in an entity's data, it will just remove that data. So what happened is, right now, 
all of the armor stands, we want their head to be facing straight forward, which means um, it has a rotation of zero, basically. As a result, Minecraft just says, hey, we don't need to remember that data anymore. So then over here, when we try to um, change the value of their head uh, based on the rotation of the sort of main armor stand, it's like, what data? There's no data there. We can't change it. So what I do is just every single tick, I manually set the data to some random value uh, just so that it has some data there always so that it can actually change it to something useful. All right, I have set it up for the hour hand as well. So hopefully, yep, there we go. Now both are working perfectly. Oh my God, <laughs> this video. I'm hoping it won't look like it's been that long because hopefully I'll do some amazing editing, but it has been 45 minutes already because I, I encountered several difficulties that I did not expect to encounter at all. Well, now that our clock hands are actually rotating wherever it is, way over here, I do believe that it will be time to start on the actual clock part of it. So any good clock um, relies on a scoreboard objective. So Minecraft keeps track of the time as a weird tick value, and you can access that with time query daytime. Now, the thing is, you would expect that when it's midnight, the value of that tick thing would be zero. But actually, no. I think when you start up a Minecraft world for the first time, it must be like 6 a.m. in in-game time or something, because 6 a.m. is zero. If we say slash time set zero, it is very much not the middle of the night. As you can see, it is morning. And if we say slash time set uh, midnight, you can see on the right, it's like 18,000, not zero. So in the start of a long sequence of math we're going to do, I'm just going to sort of modify that value by subtracting 600 from it, such that when it's midnight, the value is zero. So it seems to be working the main place I'm concerned about is when it switches over to a new day. So if we go to like 17,900, which is right before midnight, it is almost 24,000. And when it gets to 24,000, it does go back to zero. So that's working well enough. So now what we have to do, I think, really, is just some like funky stuff. So now I think all we really have to do is just change the rotations of each hand based on that time. The good news is when you modify the data of an entity uh, based on a scoreboard objective, in fact, here, let me show you. So here, here is sort of a sample command that I would use to modify the rotation. Um, we're storing the result of the command that we're running into our entity's rotation. I realize I wrote minute hour, which is very much not right <laughs> for the tag. The point is right here, this number, this is the scale, as you can kind of see over the, on the right above players, it's suggesting we put in a scale. So we can put in any number and it will multiply the result of this command by that number before it plugs it in. So I haven't uh, actually done the math out on this, but I'm guessing we would probably want like 0 0.005 or some such um, when we store that in there. All right, I think this might already be working actually. Um, you cannot actually really see the change um, just sitting here. I mean, you know, maybe maybe a little bit, but if we manually change the time, um, you can see the clock hand does tick along beautifully. Now, I have not actually checked to see if this clock hand is matching up with um, with the actual time. In fact, it's clearly not because uh, the time on the right is saying it's 6 o'clock and this is saying it's like noon. So that's not right. Um, however, I think that just means we need to fiddle around with the scoreboard math some more. You know, sometimes I am extraordinarily lazy and I literally just, I, I don't actually feel like working out how this should work. <laughs> I'm just going to uh, probably just change the numbers until they work. Yes. Oh my God. Dude, I had to do so much fiddling to make that work. So if we say set the time to zero, which 
in Minecraft terms is six o'clock, I believe. Wait, no, it's not working. No, God, no, please, no. Listen, man, you have no idea how long that took. But at the end of the day, it does not matter. Working now, we can just say no mas. So, um, the obvious next step is, of course, the minute hand. So, let's go ahead and do that. Holy crap, I cannot believe it. It's finally working. I, <laughs> I, you know, you have to add some number to the scoreboard objective to kind of compensate for the fact that zero degrees rotation is looking straight ahead, where we want zero degrees to be straight up. Um, and so I literally tried, like, so many different numbers to add to minute before I realized that I was still setting the rotation from main, not minute. Um, so, so that was not working. Anyway, the point is, it's working now, and it is spinning beautifully. But despite the fact that it's, it's working, it's not perfect, and there's still one thing I'd like to fix. And that is, if you see, right now it is exactly 6 a.m., and the clock hands do not line up. So here is what I have realized is the problem. The rotation of the blocks is not centered on the block itself. Because if you can imagine, the sort of pivot for the rotation of the armor stand's neck is at the base of the neck, but then the block is actually centered on like the top of the neck. So what I'm going to have to do to compensate for that is I'm just going to kind of have to move the armor stands around a little bit after I've sort of set them in position so that they line up properly. So now that that's set up, yeah, there we go. Man, that looks so much better, I have to say. Like, from the very beginning, I'd been kind of concerned about how it looked, but I figured it would be okay. But I'm so glad that it's it's actually, you know, working out now. I think that's going to do it for today's episode. This thing took a lot more effort than I had anticipated. I thought this would be a nice, quick, easy video. Um... Unfortunately, the actual setting up of the clock, like the circular back of it, took a lot more work than I had expected, and the actual clock part took more work than I expected, so it was just, you know, a double-double. So, thank you everyone so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, you know, like or subscribe or whatever. If you didn't enjoy it, dislike it, that's good too. And, um, either way, I will see you all soon. Bye.